Indie Shooter. Brought to you by Akidio, Adamus, Band Pro Film and Digital, Black Magic Design, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clip with Indie Shooter here at Band Pro in Burbank. This is the Sony uh, Venice Day today, where they have, I think, four Sony Venice cameras, and Snehal Patel of Carl Zeiss is here because Zeiss covers full frame. And uh, that's what we're talking about, a full frame camera. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, that's, I think, the exciting thing about the Sony Venice is that it can shoot in a much larger sensor area. So we have this diagram here that you can see where uh, we were using to demonstrate like what kind of coverage we have. And this coverage we're achieving in our CZ2 or CZ2 uh, cinema zooms and the new CP3 lenses. So since 2009, you know, Zeiss has had lenses, including the CP2s, that covered the full frame. So we've been ready for a while now. The CP3s uh, continue that tradition, right? Right, yeah. The CP3s, just like the CP2s, they cover the full frame in the back. They have the interchangeable mount system as well. So you could make this like a native E-mount lens to, to use on the Venice. Or you can use the adapter on the Venice camera and use PL mount. Um, the nice thing about having the full frame coverage is that you have a nice clean image, you know, for the really larger sensor. And then you could really crop in there if you want to, you know, make it like a widescreen uh, two to zero, uh, you know, two to zero ratio or one eight five to one or one seven eight, whatever you want to do, you can do in, within that space that they have. Um, and also leaves room for VFX applications, you know, some headroom and some room on the bottom if you need that or for tracking marks or anything like that. So it's a pretty powerful system and the image quality is really nice on the Venice. So it's nice to pair it up with a lens that really gives it a nice neutral sharp clean look and that's what the CP3s do and that's also what these zooms do too the CZ, CZ2s. So the CP3s going back to these uh, how are they being received uh, last week you were at Sundance and I know you got a chance to visit with a lot of filmmakers there uh, how are they being received the, the ability to have all of that metadata and ex extract vignetting and things like that from the image how are people thinking about it that so they're, they're excited about it they want to learn about that process they know that um, it's not you know it's not straightforward just to grab that info yet because the camera manufacturers aren't saving it in the video files mm. so you have to you know use a, uh, the master locket box for example to do it but once you show people how easy it is like they turn to it right away and they're seeing the benefits because everyone thinks that the metadata the extra metadata that we're giving you which you mentioned the shading and distortion data is really for VFX but it's not just for VFX I mean if you're doing an all-white background for an old Navy commercial wouldn't it be nice to like light your set with a light meter and then instead of having to crop into an image to make sure that you're getting a nice even white you can just press a button and it's gone. <laughs> and, it's, and, and then it's all white background. So that's what we have, we're showing today, for example, that there's a live, you know, you press a button and you can actually see the live image being corrected. So it has other applications outside of VFX, like for commercial shoots or for macro photography of, of, of watches, you know, you can get rid of the distortion. So you can make it look like just like the Rolex photograph that the you know photographer took for the magazine that they undistorted and corrected you could also do the same for video as well so it helps the commercial market a lot and the cp3 is like i always tell people that look if you want a replacement for an ultra prime lens today that is full frame you look at the cp3s they're t21 so a little bit slower than an ultra prime but they're full frame and they give you nice coverage and really good glass they have improved optics they have improved coatings and better paint on the inside and just the construction itself is better which actually results in a much better optic than the cp2s so uh, everything is shipping now all the focal links right Yes, the 100 and 135 were the last focal lengths to start shipping, and they are shipping now. So all the focal lengths are shipping. If you order a set today, within a couple of months, you should be able to get delivery. Um, and again, there's 10 lenses in the set, 15, 18, 21, 25, 28, 35, 50, 85, 100, and 135. And cinematographers need all these focal lengths, so it's nice to have that. And they all have the interchangeable mount system, just like the CZ2s. So again, you can go from PL mount to EF for Canon, E mount for Sony, uh, F mount for Nikon, Micro Four Thirds. So you have a lot of choices. It takes about five minutes to change the mount. So you can make it adapted to any camera system that's out there. You guys have the facility here now in Los Angeles, right? Yeah, we have a new office in uh, Sherman Oaks, actually. So it's nice because it's right at the intersection of the 405 and 101. Really convenient. 20 minutes from Burbank, 25 from Hollywood. Uh, believe it or not, 25 minutes from Santa Monica. So 
people on the west side, east side, north side, wherever you are, you know, make an appointment. And if you're a cinematographer that wants to see all our different choices and kind of the range of what we have, we have a nice little showroom over there at the office and a nice place to sit. Uh, we're on the 12th floor. We have the view of the valley. So it's just, yeah, I have music. I have a TV. I have Netflix. So, you know, we could watch your work. Um, we have a, a, a you know, a, a system in-house to, to watch footage and things like that. So uh, come on over and check out the office and come relax with us. Cool. Uh, so they should, uh, people should, if they're interested, they should email you directly, right? Yeah, absolutely. My email address is snehal, S-N-E-H-A-L dot Patel, P-A-T-E-L, at Zeiss.com. If you want more information, you can go to zeiss.com forward slash cine. And of course, the Sony Venice is everywhere. Right. So you're seeing it. So, you know, if you're at a rental house and, you know, you need lenses to test, please contact us. We'll, we'll gladly send something out there for you to work with. Excellent. Thank you so much, Nehal. Thank you. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Adamas, Band Pro Film and Digital, Black Magic Design, and Carl Zeiss.